everybody. So it's officially the start of the readathon and I'm so excited. I have my cup of coffee, my very first cup of coffee of the day. I waited the whole day without drinking coffee because I knew I wanted my first cup of coffee to be right at the start of the readathon so that I could just continue to drink my coffee without feeling bad about it. So I have my coffee and I'm feeling nice and awake and refreshed and ready to read. But I just wanted to quickly talk about the few books that I want to read during this readathon that I hope to get to, to finish, to at least start. And I have some pretty good books on here. So what am I going to read? Let's get into it. I definitely want to start with A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Moss because I'm already in the middle of it and the live show for the Court Along Read Along is tomorrow at noon my time. So I have until then to finish up this book. I am on page 218 right now so I definitely think that I can finish this before tomorrow, before, you know, it gets too late. I also have three other books on my TBR, and these three books are buddy reads that I'm supposed to be reading with Jaleesa, Mel, and Christine. You know, buddy reads that we have decided on throughout our time of knowing each other and that we just never got to. So we wanted to use this readathon to focus on those books. And so the three books that we have on our list of buddy reads are A Heart So Fierce and Broken, An Ember in the Ashes, and Red Queen. So I, again, I hope to get to at least a few of these books throughout this readathon as well. Definitely after I finish Akamov, I'm going to read Ember in the Ashes because that's the one I'm most excited about out of these three. So that'll be the next book that I dive into. I have started A Heart So Fierce and Broken, so if I do have time, I probably We'll read that one next and then Red Queen just because it's Red Queen like it's a throwback I could read that whenever type thing so it's not a really pressing book on my list you know but we're here we are on live sprints on Mel's channel right now kicking off the readathon gonna be here for a few hours and it's our first sprint we have about 15 minutes left on this first sprint so I definitely need to get some pages read before the sprint is over but I do have my tripod and everything set up here and so I'll definitely be providing y'all with updates a lot throughout these sprints but I'm gonna start reading and start this readathon officially and I will update y'all later. Oh my gosh. Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi. I wish I could highlight these quicker. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh. Hello. Oh my god, no, I just all the way down. <laughs> Wait, I need to, I need to Okay, so we've hopped off of Mel Sprints right now. So now we're on Zoom with everybody here. We're just hanging out on Zoom now to continue to read our books and get these books read. I'm now on page 288 for Akamoff. So I think I read a total of 60 or 70 pages on the live stream, which is why we cut it a little bit short because we were like, we need to be reading these pages a little bit faster. So now we're moving on to the Discord, which by the way, I am absolutely loving the Discord channel that we have. It's just a wholesome vibe going on there. And I'm happy that we found a platform where y'all could talk to each other and talk to us when we're not on live stream. So I'm having a great time with this Discord and we're gonna be hosting some Discord reading sprints. And some of our other moderators that we have will be hosting some reading sprints as well. So it's gonna be a great time. I just really need to get through Akamoff before the live show tomorrow because I just wanna be able to participate. And yes, I've read Akamoff before, but this is my refresher because it's been a few years. So I wanna be nice and ready for the live show so I can participate and enjoy the live stream to the best of my ability, you know? All right, so, so here's my midnight update. Your girl got some McDonald's, okay? I got me some uh, nuggets and some fries because the cravings they happened and my brother went out and got me some because I need some motivation to get through this book I'm about halfway through this and so I need to finish this book before the sun comes back up like that's my goal so I'm gonna keep reading and I'm gonna eat this McDonald's and it's gonna be popping so I hope y'all are doing great you know the discord is popping so if you're not part of the discord please join that because we have a great time there and yeah let's get back to reading I'm surprisingly not sleepy yet I mean it's only midnight at this point so it's not super late but I feel like it could go for a long time still so that makes me very happy and it makes me very hopeful that I'm gonna get a lot of good reading done tonight. So. Wow I look so dead right now. It's 4 20 a.m in the morning and I made it to page 476 of about 620 pages of Akamov so I'm super close to being done but I think I need to tap out for a couple of hours and get a couple hours of a nap in before my sprints at 8 a.m. because I'll just be dead 
like I'd want to be mute on the reading sprints and what kind of fun is that so let me go and gather up some type of energy through this two-hour nap and I'll wake up still before the sprints and try to finish this before sprints but if not then I'll definitely finish this one on the sprints and I'll be able to move on to my next book Good morning! It is 7.15 in the morning and so there's 45 minutes before my sprints. I'm awake, I'm up, I had my two hour nap, got my coffee, okay, because I'm still a little bit tired and drowsy, but I'm gonna be awake in a second once I get caffeinated and we're about to finish Akam off really soon. During the last readathon, I also got two hours of sleep, so I feel like I'm gonna be just fine. No worries here. And especially since this readathon ends earlier in the daytime than the last readathon, so I don't have too many more hours to get through that I have to be awake and alert. So we got this, y'all. We got this. So I did it. I have finished Akamoff officially. I finished it during the last sprint on my reading sprints on my channel. So I'm super happy that I was able to get through this book, finish it before the Akamoff live show, which I'm in the waiting room right now, waiting for the live show to start so I can participate be all up in the comments it's gonna be a great time a chatty discussion about the book i'm ready to talk about all the spoilers that happened in the last like 50 to 100 pages of akamoff there was plot twists back to back to back to back okay like every other page there was just something there and i was like wow because i've read akamoff before so this was a reread for me but it's been years since i read it so i definitely didn't remember all the plot twists that were going on so i'm all hyped again really excited to pick up aqua war and then eventually a court of silver flames when that comes out Sarah J Maas did the dang thing as always and I'm here for it I love her and the next book that I'm gonna pick up is City of Glass by Cassie Clare no this was not on my original TBR but this is a book that Jaleesa read during this readathon and the way that she was reacting to this book I was like I need to hurry up and pick this book up now so I just scratched off my TBR that I talked about earlier in this video and now the next book I'm gonna read is City of Glass I found the audiobook on Scribd so I'll probably go back and forth between the physical and the audio or do it simultaneously because my eyes are tired but I still want to get a lot more pages read hopefully finish this book before the end of the readathon I don't know because we have like four hours left so I don't think I will but I just want to get a good ways into it and I think I'm just going to end up reading for the rest of the day anyway even after the readathon technically ends because I'm just in the mood to finish another book so I just might read until I at least finish City of Glass but I'm gonna see y'all in the comments in the Akamoff live show I hope y'all have attended as it has already happened by the time we're seeing this video but I just know it's gonna be a great time. We're gonna have a lot of great conversations and I'll check in with you guys later once I start City of Glass and have some thoughts on this one. So it's the next day. It is Sunday, January 31st, and I know I did not wrap up this readathon. I didn't let y'all know when I stopped reading, when I went to sleep, all that kind of stuff yesterday. But basically, 4 p.m. hit, my time readathon was over. And then we were all like, you know what? This readathon is gonna be over when we say it's over. We said we're gonna keep on reading until we finish the books that we're currently reading. So let me just catch y'all up on what I did post my last update, which I think was right before the Akamoff live show. So after that live show, which was a great time by the way, it is up on Mel's channel if you wanna watch it back whenever you read Akamoff or if you happen to miss it, it's there for you guys to watch whenever. So I would highly suggest that. But after that, I did pick up City of Glass, like I said I was going to, and I started reading it because Jill Lisa decided to host prints on her channel at like 3 p.m. my time so like for the last hour or so of the readathon so we hopped on Jaleesha's channel for sprints and I think we sprinted for maybe four hours so at that point the readathon was over and we were just reading and we were saying you know what the readathon ends when we say it ends because we all wanted to finish the books that we were currently reading but I only read to page 92 of this book because when I tell you I was so tired and I couldn't read another word I was kind of dozing off during the sprints and all that kind of stuff stuff because obviously we're up for a long time only slept for two hours during the entire readathon so the sleep deprivation was definitely catching up to me and I just needed to stop reading so after we ended the sprints I just went right to my bed ate some dinner and watched some Grey's Anatomy and caught up with Grey's Anatomy because I just didn't want to read anymore and I also didn't want to update the vlog but 
I'm still going to keep this vlog running up until the end of the night or when I finish City of Glass. It really is up to me because it's my channel. I do what I want on here. So right now I'm on page 92 on chapter five of City of Glass. And to a lot of people, this is one of their favorite books of the Mortal Instruments series. So I'm really excited to read it. And given Jalisa's reactions while she was reading it during the readathon, I'm very excited to be reading this book. But you know, 100 pages in, I'm not feeling it. It's kind of boring. It's kind of just, okay, this is happening, cool. But Jalisa did tell me that it starts picking up around 200 or 2.30 so I'm gonna be patient and keep reading and just trust that this book is gonna get better and it's gonna give me all the feels but yeah I'm just gonna continue to provide updates on the vlog while I read City of Glass. I just want to say thank you to everyone who participated in the readathon. We had a ton of fun. I'm really happy that we set up the discord channel which by the way we are shutting that down when we're not in readathon mode but we are gonna reopen the discord during the next readathon which will happen at the end of February. Hello it's Tuesday February 2nd and I'm currently sitting at work and I just have never vlogged at work and wanted to give it a try. So hi, as you can see, I did my hair, but I still haven't finished City of Glass. So I'm still slowly getting through that book. I've kind of not in a reading slump, but I just haven't had the energy to necessarily read in the past couple of days since the readathon. So that's where I'm at. I think I'm at like page 180 or something in City of Glass. So I hope that when I get home from work, I can get more into that, but I also want to film a video today. So. I'm hoping for a really productive day. I'm having a pretty chill day at work so far. And yeah, I just wanted to say hi to the vlog and I will continue to update you guys as I continue to read more City of Glass. Happy Friday, everyone. It is Friday, February 5th. If this is your payday, I'm happy for you. But here's the game plan in terms of reading today. I need to read an entire book today. I am a part of the Hear Our Voices book tour for the Gilded Ones that is currently running during the first two weeks of February in preparation for the release of the Gilded Ones on February 9th. But yeah, so far I have read one chapter of the Gilded Ones and I'm loving it so far. Like I'm already so mad because our main character, Dika, she looks like she is a southerner because she has dark skin whereas the village that she lives is in the north where everybody has lighter skin. People love to bully her, love to call her names, love to call her skin dirty, all these things. And so I'm just sitting here mad as I'll get out because we all know that colorism is real. And even within the black community, there's still a stigma that lighter skin is better. And so Dika is definitely feeling that. It's a day of the blood ceremony for her. That's where we're starting. I've only read one chapter and I just want Dika to be happy. And we already know reading the synopsis from the book, how the blood ceremony is going to go and so I'm already just like no no and the author Namina Forna she did mention that this book tackles patriarchy like how does it form how does it operate and all those different questions and I'm already seeing how patriarchy is playing a role in this world and how the men are in charge and the women are submissive and doing everything that the men tell them to and so that's making me upset too because Ooh, it's just too much all in one chapter so I already know that this book is going to be good if I'm already feeling all the feels starting from chapter one so I'm going to continue reading as it's about noon right now and I've got a lot of pages to read and a lot of things to do today so I will see you guys in another update Y'all, I know I just updated this vlog, but now I'm on chapter three and just things have happened that were not in the synopsis, but had to do with the synopsis as well. And I just didn't know that that was what we were working with. It's so much going on and I'm just like, wow. So I'm already like, y'all need to read this book because I'm only three chapters in and I'm like, I can't put this down. I need to continue reading. I need to know what's happening, what's going to happen because the heartstrings are being pulled on like every single page and you're just like, ah, so I just wanted to come and say that. All right, so another update. We all thought I was going to upload this video today. <laughs> we thought. Yeah, it didn't happen. Life happens. So yes, I'm still reading the book and it's still amazing. I'm having a great time reading it. I just made it to chapter nine now and Dika has gone through the blood ceremony. The mysterious woman has shown up and given her the option to either stay in the village or come with her to the empire. Dika just got there, met some people along the way. And so that journey is about to start. The training is about to start and it just keeps getting really good. Obviously, Dika is going to be special we're not too sure yet because she keeps using this word like oh i'm unnatural i'm just special i'm different than the others even though she is an alaki so all these mysterious vibes around like who dika really is what her power is how powerful she might be is keeping me very intrigued and engaged and interested and wanting to read more of this book so i'm gonna keep on reading and i'm having a great time okay so i finally finished the book y'all i did it i finished and so i'm gonna quickly wrap this vlog up wrap this video up because 
because of course I finished the book on the day that this video is supposed to be uploaded. So I mean, at least I'll get to upload this soon and y'all can see it. Anyways, let's talk about this book really quick. Let's wrap it up here. I loved this book so much. I'm in between a 4.5 or a five stars for it. Honestly, everybody should read this book, you know, because at its very essence, this book talks about taking down the patriarchy and the way that it's done is just perfection. Like I love how Namina Forna wrote the story and started off with our main character Dika being very submissive and having to listen to the man and everything that men had to say and couldn't do anything that she wanted to because she and her people and just all other women are under these very strict laws on what they can and cannot do. And then just seeing that like get crushed on by the end of the book is amazing. I mean, I don't want to talk any spoilers, of course, but just know that patriarchy goes down in this book. I am just gonna say that I love this book so much and you should read it. I definitely will eventually get myself a physical copy of this book because wow, I just have to have it. I'm going to need to read it again, put some tabs in it, especially before the next book comes out, which I'm very excited about. I love how the first book wrapped up. There wasn't necessarily a cliffhanger per se, but there's definitely build up for what is going to happen in book two. So again, I'm just super excited for Namina Forna to come out with the next installment of the series. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up because I need to go edit and upload. But just quickly wrapping up everything that happened in this video. I mean, it started off being a 24 hour readathon vlog where I only read one book and a little bit of City of Glass. I finished up with Court of Mist and Fury and attended the live show, started City of Glass and kind of fell into like a mini reading slump because I still haven't finished City of Glass, but I did listen to Blitz by Alexa Martin on audio this week and I finished that. I gave that a 3.5 out of 5 stars because it was a cute story. It just wasn't my favorite one out of the series, the playbook series that she has. And then ending off my week and this reading vlog with reading The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna and finishing that entire thing. And I just want to quickly say that maybe ebooks aren't as bad as I thought they were because I obviously read the arc as an ebook and I was zooming through those pages on my phone. So maybe ebooks are the way to go if I need to read a book very quickly, but that's just personal opinion. I obviously still love and prefer a physical copy, but in the times that you need an ebook, I see why people do ebooks. It wasn't that bad at all. That's definitely a sidebar. Get up in this vlog now because I have work to do. As always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!